Hey everyone, Pete here again. And in this short video, I want to talk about hacking the Amazon Kindle. Because there's a couple of really cool features that Amazon have made available through their online Kindle portal over at kindle.amazon.com that a lot of people aren't actually aware of. And I shared some of these little hacks on a recent Preneur community call. And the feedback from the people who were on that call was fantastic. So I thought I'd uh, record this little video for you all here. Now, there's a couple of features that uh, Amazon make available to not only Kindle owners, but anybody who has an Amazon account. Now, if you don't actually own Amazon Kindle, some of this stuff will definitely apply to you. And the first thing I want to speak about is a key thing that I think you should all check out and take a look at. Because what you can actually do is follow Kindle users. In the same sort of way you follow people on Twitter or on Facebook, Amazon has made it available uh, that you can actually follow other users. And what you can see here in front of you is Tim Ferriss's Kindle page. Now on here you can do a number of different things. You can check out the public notes that he's made available from the books he's read. And what that basically means is that he's shared highlights and notes from different books that you can actually go and check out. So not only can you actually get a bit of an understanding of the types of books that Tim reads, that you can actually then model uh, and do the act as if type methodology uh, around, but you can also just hack your book reading uh, and actually get summaries of different books based on your favorite um, market leaders such as Tim Ferriss. So if we go into this particular page here, we can sort of uh, have a bit of a play around. And so I'm going to go into all his uh, books with public notes. So these are all the books that Tim's read and has shared through the Kindle. So I'm going to go over to page two here and check out some of the different books that he's, uh, he's read and sort of you know see what else is suggested here is worth checking out. Now, one of these books here is, uh, is Benjamin Franklin by Walter Isaacson, who's the same author that wrote the new or most recent Steve Jobs book. Now, what you can do here by clicking into this, you can actually see all the highlights that have been made throughout this book. So it's basically a best of or a summary service here for you available for free, which is really, really cool. So if I go back, you can sort of see what other books uh, Tim's read and highlighted. Um, you can see you know, posts and notes made by different people, not just Tim, or some key highlights as well, which is really, really cool. There's another feature here available as well that you can uh, choose the most popular section under Kindle. And what this does is it shows you the most popular passages of all time throughout the entire Kindle library, or you can drill by books and you actually see what are the most highlighted books of all time based on the Kindle. Now, Steve Jobs' most recent book has actually uh, rocketed to number two on the all-time list here. Obviously, uh, Tim's 4-Hour Body book is there, his 4-Hour Workweek book's there, but a whole range of other books are available for you to go and look at and just read the key passages based on the crowd. So it's almost like crowdsourced reading, if you will, which is very, very cool. So inside Switch by uh, Chip and Dan, you can see um, there's some posts from the book with people actually making conversations and, and detailed notes to accompany the highlight. Or further down, you can just actually check out the highlights here, which is really, really cool. So I encourage you to actually check this out because it's a good way to get an understanding of a book before you go to read it. And if you've ever done any sort of speed reading courses, you've probably been taught that prior to actually reading a book, you should really actually read the front cover, the index, the summary, the back cover, and any sort of um, notes you can to give you some context and some frame before you actually read the book. It helps you actually consume the content better, particularly if you're speed reading. And this Kindle service is a great way to hack that as well. Now, for those of you who actually have a Kindle, there's another really cool feature here available that I'd suggest you check out. And this is the daily review section uh, over at um, your account at kindle.amazon.com. And basically what this is, it's a series of flashcards that Amazon automatically make based on the books you've read and the highlights you've done around those book passages. So what this essentially does is every day, you can actually come into your daily review and reinforce the key passages of a book that you've previously read. Because another great tip I'm sure you've been told over and over again is you should reread a book three or four times. Now really, that is not the most efficient use of your time. It's not very productive. There's no leverage in that because you only should read or reread the key elements of a book to ensure you've internalized them. And this daily review function allows you to do that because it pops up a flashcard every day of a different key highlight that you've made from a book. 
if you want to, you can click next and it will go through uh, different uh, highlights and key passages for you, which is really cool. Or you can click review another book and it'll take you to a different book in your catalog that you've read and highlighted. Now to plus this idea and leverage it even further, something I'd suggest you look at doing is actually making this daily review page your home page when you actually load up your browser, when you load up Chrome or Firefox or Safari or even Internet Explorer if you're still using that. You can actually make this daily review page your uh, home page, your home screen. You know, on Chrome, if you just go to preferences, you can set this as my home page. You can copy and paste the URL and do it there or on startup, I want to use the current page here as my startup screen. Now I'm just going to like, click back out of that. And what will happen is every time I open my browser, it will reload a daily review for me to read and remember some key passages. It's a great little workflow hack to ensure you reinforce and internalize the key passages from books you've read and made available through Kindle. And don't forget, you can actually uh, use Kindle not only with the actual device, but Amazon Kindle have iPhone apps and iPad apps, uh, and also you have the ability to actually read your books online as well. So you can actually get the benefit of the Kindle experience and the, the Kindle book cost savings and also obviously the highlighting and sharing function without having to actually invest in Amazon Kindle. So I hope this video uh, and little workflow hacks here have uh, been very helpful and a great way for you to actually uh, leverage and hack your reading through Amazon Kindle. Talk to you guys soon. Oh, my God.